Hey guys, welcome to Excel for Noobs.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel 2013. Now, what a Gantt chart is is a chart that shows the time frame of an overall project broken down by the each individual by each individual task that the project is to consist of, showing the time frame that each task is uh, to take from start date to finish. All right, so you can see here, first we have to enter in our data into Excel before we can even create our chart. So here I have three columns. I have a task column. These are all of my tasks, tasks one through eight that the project is to consist of. We have the start date. These dates, dates represent the day that each task is to start. So task eight will start on July 15th. And then we have the days to complete column showing how long each project is to last. So, um, or each task is to last. Task eight should last 12 days. So if it starts on July 15th, task eight should or um, task eight should end on July 27th. Okay, so we have our data. Now we can go ahead and get started creating our chart. What we're going to do is click um, the insert button and in the chart, the insert tab, and in the charts group, we are going to select our insert bar chart, which is like a sideways bar chart, basically. Okay, so we click the insert bar chart and we are going to click on, you can do either 2D stacked bar chart or 3D stacked bar chart. So I'm going to click on the 3D stacked bar chart and then you can see that a blank chart area appears. In the chart area, I will now right click and in the shortcut menu, I'm going to click on select data. Okay. So you can see the Select Data Source dialog box appears. You can also see that our chart area and Select Data Source dialog box is kind of blocking our uh, data over here. So we're going to move that out of the way. But first, let's enter in our first series. Right here in Legend Entries, we're going to click the Add button. And the Edit Series dialog box will appear with a box for Series Name. And Series Name, we're going to enter. We're going to select the Start Date column header. And then and series values are going to re remove the default data and we're going we're going to enter in the we're going to select the range of cells that has our start dates and then we'll click OK okay now I'm going to click OK so I can move this out of the way and so I can also get this chart out of the way okay now in a blank area of the chart somewhere up here I'm going to right click again to get to um, the select data source dialog box and you can see I'm clicking on select data and it appears just now I can access my data over here alright now we need to add a new series we're going to click the add button and in series name I will select days to complete in series values again remove the default data and select the range of cells that has our days complete click OK and again, we're back at our select data source dialog box. Now on the horizontal axis label, click the edit button, and I'm going to select task one through task eight. And click OK. Now we have all of our data, so we can close our select data source dialog box. Okay, so you can see that we're on our way to having a Gantt chart. What is going on? Okay, you can see we're on our way to having a Gantt chart. I'm just kind of resizing it. Now you can see a few problems. Our tasks right here are in reverse order, so we need to fix that. We have these blue bars here which represent um, the start date, and, and then we have our dates, which uh, there's a large gap. See, our project's going to start on uh, May 22nd. We don't really want our chart, the bounds of our uh, dates, to go all the way to April 16th, so we want to remove that. We want this chart want to remove those uh, these boundaries these um, these gaps of dates so uh, the first thing we're going to do is just get our we want to get our task in the right order so just click right here on the task and then right click and click on format axis in the shortcut menu and then the the uh, axis options will appear over here to the right the format axis dialog box and in axis position you're going to click categories and reverse order okay so the first problem is solved now let's get rid of these bars there's nothing going on 
during this time for these projects so we don't need any bars there to represent anything all we want is to uh, we want bars that represent the task when they're going to be um, when they will the time frame of the task so we click on the bars which represent the start date and then we're going to right click and then click format data series and the format data series dialog box appears we will click on the fill button and then we'll select no fill and then we can close this all right final problem let's get rid of this gap in the dates so we just uh, let's get rid of this padding of the dates I mean you can see it's more than a month the chart shows a date that's more than a month before our start date so let's get rid of that so we click on the dates then we right click and again select format axis okay you can see over here our bounds these are our dates these numbers represent our dates actually let me close this and kind of explain how dates work I'm gonna copy this date and enter it into another cell May 22nd our start date now I'm gonna convert this to a number format and you can see that um, our dates are actually represented by a number and that's how it works. Dates in Excel are represented by a serial number system. So the uh, number, the serial number for May 22nd, 2013 is 41,416. And that's where we want our chart to start. So just we're going to keep that there so we remember that number. So again, click on the dates, right click, format axis. And then here in the minimum bound, we will enter the date that we want our chart bounds to show. So we're custom um, manually entering in that number which represents May 22nd 2013 and we hit enter and there you can see now our chart starts on May 22nd 22nd 2013. We can close that and then um, let me remove this and now you can see that we have our Gantt chart here. Now all you have to do is you can change different um, formatting to the chart so we can go to the design and we can change the layout. I like this layout. We can change the title. And you can mess around and change the color and anything else you want to change. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Now you know how to make a basic Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel 2013. Don't forget to check out all of our other tutorials. And we also have a more advanced tutorial on how to create a Gantt chart that, is, that automatically shows the progress of a project and each task. It shows the days completed of each task and it shows the days remaining for each task. And it's automated using the now function and a nested if function. So be sure to look that up. All right, thanks for watching and have fun with Excel.